Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan and welcome to my December setup plan with me. I'll be setting up my monthly spread as well as the dashboard page and the notes page. And I'm using a sticker kit that I made to decorate all of these. So we're gonna start with the monthly spread and do a header and cover up all these dates and add just a bunch of colors. So here's before, right? Let's get that in our heads. Before, and we'll try to do a comparison. Ah, this is a reject kit. I forgot. I gave myself a reject kit. See how I've cut out the word December? So, um, <laughs> I fixed that, but this was my um, prototype kit when I first made it. And let's just see if we can put this on here straight and then fit the word inside the hole. And see these little itty bits I'm going to have to put in there? I don't even think I can pick those up. I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to leave that out. Yeah, I don't like to waste sticker paper, and so if I make a mistake on a kit, I keep that one for myself. And if I make one for somebody else, of course I try to make them a perfect one. But I get the duds. Let's go ahead and put the sidebar down while this is upside down. Okay. And then we've got a few little skinny washi strips to put up here. But first of all, let's just take a look at it right side up. Looks pretty good. I don't think you can see those tiny little holes there where there is missing sticker paper. Hopefully you can't see that. Okay, so let's plop the numbers down. Those are on a little sheet and we'll do that part in time lapse and I'll be right back. After. Okay, and there's going to be even more after, but I just love livening up the spread to begin with with a lot of color and just kind of excitement for what's about to happen. So here is the deco sheet that I have for December. And what I'd like to do is kind of combine these with events as I put them on to the page. So I'm going to write events on these little stickers shaped like this. And um, I have a few more here. And then I'm going to kind of pair them with a deco sticker. So let's go into time lapse for that. But let me just tell you, if you're new to planning and you have no idea what on earth I'm doing decorating my planner, um, this is an Erin Condren life planner. And I, if you're after you watch this, if at some point you want to check out Erin Condren, I have a link below for $10 off your first Erin Condren order. It doesn't even have to be a planner. It could be a notebook or whatever. But um, I just want you to know that this is just how a lot of us in what we call the planner community really enjoy spending our um, free time. It's kind of a therapeutic hobby in a way, sort of like scrapbooking, but it's celebrating your time. And everything that you have going on on your calendar. So I'm going to go back into time lapse for a bit so that I can write down my events and then we'll come back after I've placed all of that. Hopefully I will save myself some deco for this area over here.
is the whole monthly spread all finished, decorated, and you will start to hear now the sounds of the piano tuner who is up above me right now tuning as we speak. We're ready to go on now to the dashboard and the notes page. So I will use this to do my book of the month, some household tasks, some financial tasks, a focus or kind of big goal for the month, and my memory verses for the month of December. I've got a mock-up of my January kit, which I will show you soon. That's the color scheme. So while I'm setting this up, let's just chit chat. Since you can hear the piano tuning, no doubt. I have not had my pianos tuned since before COVID. So right when we shut things down and I stopped teaching in person, and went to virtual lessons. My piano tuner, who has lots of um, health concerns, was not going out at all to tune pianos. And so I just put the piano tuning on hold until she was able to come back out. Well, I gave her a call um, recently and she decided to actually just go ahead and retire. So we've got a brand new piano tuner upstairs and um, it was nice to meet him. So if you have an acoustic piano in your house, you know the sound of getting a piano tuned, or hopefully you know that sound at least once a year. And so he goes through every single key and um, there are three strings for each note. So he's got to make them all tune perfectly together. And I'm so delighted to finally get my piano tuned. So delighted. Um, and next week, we're actually going to be doing some recording for a few of my students who will not be in person for the recital. And we have the means to show their performances up on a screen in the sanctuary of the church where our recital is going to be. So I definitely did not want to record their performances on an out-of-tune piano. That would be both cringeworthy and not, uh, it would be embarrassing that the piano tuner, I mean, the piano teacher's piano was out of tune. And I definitely had an excuse during COVID because my tuner was not coming out at all. But once I did find out that my tuner had retired, I had no excuse for, you know, not finding a new tuner. So we'll see how this goes. We have two pianos and he's just tuning one today. And then we'll come back and revisit the other piano, which needs a little bit more work, but the one he's tuning now is the one that we use for lessons most of the time. So that's the main one to get taken care of today. All right, so this page just went all Christmas on us. All right, so we are going to put the book of the month down. Now, I want you guys to know that I have made progress on my book of the month which in November it was War and Peace for the second month. And in October, it was War and Peace for the first month. Same book, I just chose a cover that would match <laughs> my color scheme and printed it out with my HP Sprocket. So I have not finished the book, but the difference is I'm happy to report that I'm enjoying the book now and I'm getting it now. I know who these characters are now. So I've printed out a cover that will go with this Christmas scheme. So this is month three on War and Peace. So if any of you are going along on this reading journey with me, all I can say is that the best tips that I received, number one, is that Pierre is the central character. Understand that, that gives you an anchor. Then, I mean, there are other very important characters, but Pierre and then Natasha are central characters. The other thing is, go ahead and let yourself watch some of the miniseries that are on YouTube for free because you need to kind of get in your head who is who. There are so many characters, and because the names are Russian, sometimes they change the names in order to... Um, be feminine or masculine in their, um, 
I don't know how you spell it, how you say it, because in Russian, you do change the last name in a family for a female versus the male in the family. So that's a little confusing when you're not used to it. Plus they have some nicknames. And so watching the, I'll tell you what my favorite has turned out to be, the 1972 BBC War and Peace miniseries. It's 20 episodes. Really has helped me immensely. I haven't watched all of them, but just watching a few of them lets you get a handle on it, and then you know what you're doing when you're reading the books. Also, watching some history lessons on the Napoleonic Wars on YouTube. There are some very entertaining ones, very good ones on YouTube that you can watch. And I really was very ignorant about the Napoleonic Wars. So I knew who Napoleon was, but I really did not know a lot of dates, locations, or background. So that has helped immensely. Therefore, I've not given up on War and Peace. So for month three, I'm still on it. One more thing before we move on from War and Peace. This is something I picked up at the library because I have War and Peace in two forms. I have it on my Kindle and I have it on Audible, so I can listen to it and read it in bed. I like to listen during the day, and I like to read the Kindle at night. However, I got to the point where I wanted to turn and flip back and forth from one section to another to kind of revisit something. That's really difficult to do in a Kindle, at least if you're me. The only version of War and Peace that my local library had was this giant book that has three of Leo Tolstoy's um, works, The Cossacks, War and Peace, and Anna Karenina. So I have marked here with bookmarks the part, which is the bulk of it, that is War and Peace. The print is really tiny, even at that. So they are going to get a library loan from another library, so hopefully I'll have some larger print to look at. But um, anyway... It helps to also have the physical book. My memory verse page is right here. So I'm gonna start it at the top with a strip of washi and then a header that says memory verses. And we'll get to those soon, but I just wanna put down all of the stickers and the framework first of all. And then my prayer of the month, which I have not yet written, will go here on the page that precedes the monthly spread. And I will put the same washi strip up at the top. Kind of looks like a sweater. And then a header that says prayer of the month. Okay, so let's do some writing. Um, Let's start over here with the household goals and the money goals and the uh, challenge of the month. Um, first of all, let's do the household goals. And there are three of those this month. Let's put a little header at the top first of all. And maybe a little deco first of all before I start writing because then it's easier to write around that. So why don't we do, I guess we could do a house. How about a house? A gingerbread house. Okay, so those three goals are clean the dining room windows, clean the washroom, and mop the basement, which is just like vinyl flooring. And then when I move on to my financial tasks for the month, these are routine, usually, most of the time. So those will be to set up my 2023 budget planner. And you guys, it's the prettiest budget planner I've ever had. In the past, I've used the A5 Coiled Budget Planner from Erin Condren. Two years ago, I did that. In 2022, I did kind of my own system of rings where I took a petite journal from Erin Condren, the, the budget one, and took it out of its binding and put it into rings. But this year, I have the all-new Erin Condren Rings budget planner. So it's basically the A5 budget planner. It's been revamped so the pages are not the same and they've punched it for rings and you can get it 
um, with the flora agenda, which is the one I chose because I did not have the flora agenda. So anyway, talking too much about that, but I want to show that off and maybe I'll do a video of showing my 2023 budget planner. And I'm, of course, going to set up my December budget. In fact, I'm in the midst of doing that right now. And last of all, I will, of course, pay my December bills. Okay, so let's move on down here to the goal of the month or the focus of the month. And I don't know what that's going to be yet. So let's decorate it while I think. I have a couple of ideas and I might split this in half and do two challenges of the month. Maybe one fun one and one not fun one. I think a gingerbread clock tower should divide the two. So we'll put this right here in the middle, approximately. Nope, that's too far to the left. All right, I th I've thought of one. I want to make my homemade pimento cheese for my neighbors. So that's definitely going to be one of them. Okay, side note, how do you spell pimento? I always say pimento but some people spell it with an I there, pimento. Now I could Google this, but my phone is up here recording. So I don't know, maybe this is spelled wrong. Maybe you spell it with an I right after the M, like pimento, but you only say pimento. I don't know. I might end up adding an I in there. Okay, and then my other challenge of the month, what should it be? This is it. So here's the deal. I, I think I talked about this one time. My mom has this standing date with her retired friends from where she used to work. They always have lunch on the third Thursday of the month, and whoever can make it comes, but it's a standing date. Well, because I help my mom so much, I and she's not driving, I go to this thing. So I end up having lunch with her friends, and they're nice people. I enjoy it. But I don't have any dates like that with my own friends, so I decided I need to set up something like that. So it could be like the third Wednesday of every month or the second Wednesday of the month, something like that will be my standing coffee date with my girlfriends. So two challenges of the month. So I said I would do one that wasn't fun. This one will be fun when it's done. It's not fun to grate all the cheese, and I don't have a food processor. So if you know of a good, fast cheese grating system, please let me know before I, I start laboring grating by hand. Um, so those will be my two challenges. All right, so let's move on over to do the verses of the month, my December memory verses. Each one of those is going to be marked with a little heart at the beginning of the verse. They are going to have something to do with the birth of Christ this month. now everything is finished and ready. I will be writing my prayer of the month here. I just do that off camera and when I'm not in a hurry and put for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. That scripture up here. 
and my memory verses in case you didn't catch them. I went with three verses from three different prophets in the Old Testament. So all three of these things, long before the birth of Christ, were prophesying that it was coming. And so I chose for my final verse of the week between Christmas and New Year's that all of this was done that it might be fulfilled what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet. And I just added a little S in brackets because it was, I mean, this particular one was pointing to what Isaiah had said, but we also have prophecies pointing to Jesus in Micah and Jeremiah. So I just think that is fascinating and so awesome uh, about really how all of the Old Testament in one way or another is pointing us to the New Testament and to the birth of Christ. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. It was really fun, and I love these colors. I love Christmas colors, and um, I did make an A5 kit for December. I didn't film everything on this one. I just went ahead and put it on when I was testing the kit, um, and I haven't even filled out the things that I did during this video, so I, I probably will. I'll have to write really tiny, won't I, because those memory verses were long. I hadn't chosen them at the time that I placed this down, but it's it's the same kit. It's just in A5 size. Okay, so I thank you guys so much for joining me. Did I ever show you the January kit? Because I can't remember. This is not on sticker paper. This is just a mock-up on plain paper, but the freebie is this, just like little cactus and other little plants that have teal coloring because um, the color scheme is teal. It's kind of the traditional Erin Condren color scheme, and I went with that. So here are some of the stickers and the sidebar, some of the dashboard, and the main page for the monthly spread, and here's the deco sheet. And again, this is not on sticker paper, so it looks a little flimsy right now, just on plain paper, but this is the deco sheet. Okay, so I thank you guys so much for joining me. This was really fun. Um, I'd love to hang out with you more. You can find me over on Facebook in my Facebook group, which is Plan Sarah Plans Planner Circle. Please do answer the three questions so I'll know that it's okay to let you in. You can also find me over on Instagram where I'm Plan Sarah Plan, all one word. And if you want even more, you can subscribe for a monthly fee of something. I think it's like $4.99, $4.79 on my Instagram channel, and you'll get extra bonus content that is just for those subscribers there. All right, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.